Well, rip. Seems like the majority of you guys really didn't like the green dash. Ah, fuck, I hit my head right there. Oh, God. Seems like the majority of you guys didn't really like the green dash. How could you not like it? It looks so good. I agree there is a lot of green now, but it looks good. And this shift knob, like, come on, come on, come on. Come on, look at how awesome this is. Sometimes I just, I really don't get you guys. Also, how is this rice? Jim Jim is not a racer. This looks good. I quit, you know what? I give up with you guys. But today is gonna be a really fun day because we are gonna be teaching Audrey how to drive stick. Audrey? Uh, Audrey? Hey Audrey, this video is about you. Can you please be in it? <laughs> I came up with a new name for Axel. Um, it no, is Meowpocalypse. <laughs> or Mr. Meows, I like no. that too. Hey Mr. Meows! No! <laughs> It's not a name! I happen to think that Mr. Meows and Meowpocalypse are pretty good names. No! <laughs> Alright, so here's the story. Uh, Audrey here, she needs a new car. Uh, she doesn't have a car. I drive around everywhere. She needs to get to work. She just needs a car. And she doesn't have quite as much money as she'd like to buy a car. So I said that I would help pitch in on one rule. The car had to be manual. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> You're like over here like head bobbing. The thing is that she doesn't know how to drive stick. So I have to teach her how to drive stick. Originally we were gonna go get the RX-7 from the shop and have her drive that because that is by far the easiest car I have to drive. Stock clutch, pretty easy. But we decided no, screw that. We're not, we're not taking this easy. She's gonna drive the Rally Miata, which used to be the easiest car I owned to drive. But once we got the new clutch, it's pretty terrible. It's got a uh, Clutch Masters FX400. Ooh, nice blow off valve, dude. Which is a six, five plus one puck clutch. It is sprung, but it is pretty terrible. Oh, do I have something? No, your eyebrows messed up. My eyebrows messed up, well, thanks. It's like a super grabby clutch, and even I have, stop! And even I have trouble driving with it. Um, and I've been driving stick for two years. Uh, actually, I stalled it the other day, and that's like the first time I've stalled a car in like a year. It's very sad. So yeah, she's gonna learn how to drive stick on a six puck clutch. It's gonna be fun, and then we're gonna go get her a car. Not today, but we're gonna go get her a manual car. Um, if you guys have suggestions for cars, leave it down in the comment section below. I said a Honda Civic. She doesn't want a Honda Civic. We don't really want another Miata. It would be a good car, but too many of those. Um, Tiburon, Cobalt, something cheapish and manual. And something that we can still mod, because we want to do that too. All right, watch. Axel's going to become bolting through this door. Yep, how do I know? <laughs> He's smart. He's like, okay, all right, a little bit too far. <laughs> Mr. Escape Artist here. <laughs> Over the laser. That's how we do it. The other thing is that every YouTuber and their cousin has had their girlfriend learn, or has taught their girlfriend stick. So hopefully by making you drive a six putt clutch, It'll change things up a bit. We're at my good old high school parking lot. Are you ready? <laughs> it's all right, you got this, you got this. Oh, it feels weird sitting in the passenger seat of my car. All right, I'll give you a freshen up. Um, well, first of all, turn on the car. So put it in neutral. Obviously. All right, okay, and have the clutch in. And... Okay, I'm too far away from this. Oh, so you can scoot up, you can scoot up. All right, now make sure it's in neutral before you pull off the clutch. Okay, so now you can take the clutch off, have your foot on the brake. You don't have to worry about anything because you're in neutral. So, <laughs> if anything ever goes wrong, put it in neutral. You can take the clutch off, and you're all good. It's a five-speed, so it's one, two, three, oh, four, five. Works. You know that. When you're ready to drive, you put the clutch in, and you put it in the first. I know. And you rev it up just a wee little bit, and then you slowly take your foot off the clutch. Now, the thing about this clutch is, since it's so grabby, it will grab really hard in a very short, like like clutch distance traveled. So you have to like move the clutch incredibly slow. And once it starts grabbing, you don't freak out. Like that was my biggest issue. When I first started driving stick, pretty much I was doing fine until the clutch started grabbing and then I dumped it because I got freaked out. Fly, go away, thank you. So pretty much once the clutch starts grabbing, just be very, very slow. Um, and yeah, put it in reverse. Clutch in, you have to have a clutch. Put the clutch in when you change gears, all right? So for now, we'll just practice going in first and stopping. Slowly release the clutch. Once it starts moving, keep slowly releasing it. Don't freak out, okay? Just a little, little more. All right, so it's starting to move a little bit. A little gas, a little gas, a little gas, a little gas, yes, yeah! Woo! All right, all right, um, so just cruise. Just stay in first and just cruise. Just drive around. 
Uh, this car also doesn't have any power steering, so don't go too fast. Just kind of, you know, just go go around, whatever. Oh um, my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's not that bad. It's a Miata. <laughs> Wait, like I wasn't ready for it though. I just was yeah, like, fair enough, fair enough. I've never driven a car with no power steering. You did it, and it wasn't the greatest, but you did it. You didn't stall. So now, when you go to slow down, you put the clutch in and put your foot on the brake. So clutch in, off the gas, and then put on the brake, and just brake like normal, and then put in the neutral, and then you can take your foot off the clutch. And yay, there you go. So let's do it again. So I'll try revving it up a little bit once it starts to grab. All right, so give it a little gas, a little gas, a little gas, gas. Clutch in, clutch in, clutch in, clutch in, clutch in, clutch in, clutch in. Okay. <laughs> put off the gas, put off the gas, put off the gas, put off the gas. <laughs> Okay. Tell me, I didn't stall it though. It's you so did. I don't know how that didn't stall. I felt <laughs> very bad for this car. It sounded like it wanted to kill itself. Oh, you can smell gas. That's that's not a good smell. But um. So what you did there is the moment it started like bogging like that, you just released the clutch, that and that makes scary. it a lot worse. I know, I know. And that's that was my problem when I was learning to stick. So try it again. If it starts to do that shit, just give it a little bit more gas and keep the clutch where it's at. Gas. Well, gas, gas. But, Okay, so yet again, you released the clutch a little bit too fast because when you started moving, you thought you were good and you released the clutch. Yeah. But you didn't stall. You still didn't stall. <laughs> Although, I, wa I want to call that one. It wasn't though. I didn't stall. You didn't stall. The I engine did not turn off. Don't hit the cars. Don't hit the cars. <laughs> ah! Gas, little gas. You did it again. You did it again. When you start moving, you don't release the clutch. <laughs> I can see why people get frustrated when trying to drive people, like teach people stick. Cause like to me, it's so easy, and it's just it's, it's a little hard to watch people do this to my car. Oh, you put it in a second. Nice. That was really good. That was super smooth. And like, yeah, the key about putting it into a different gear is just to do it quickly, so you don't really have to mess with the gas. Remember, you, you start releasing the clutch and then it starts grabbing, you give it a little bit of gas, and you keep slowly releasing the clutch. You don't dump it. Bad. Bad. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> now slowly, 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 slowly. A little more gas, a little more gas, a little more gas. There you go. So you still did a little bit too fast, but it was better. It was definitely better. <laughs> Are you, wait, what? It wasn't the greatest shift, but that's all right. All right, so we're just gonna practice our starts over and over again until she gets decent, and then we'll try to go on some decent streets. I don't know, we'll see. I don't, I don't feel like, you're definitely not ready for that yet, so. So we'll just do a little start montage here. Yes. Slowly. Oh, that was much better. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because I'm scared, I hate driving. Do it again? No. Yeah, come on, we, we, you're doing good. You haven't stalled it yet. It's very impressive. We have to get one perfect start, okay? Once we get a perfect start, then we can be done. Yes, no, that, that's my role. I'm locking you in the car, even though this car doesn't lock. <laughs> Please. Yes. Slowly. Oh, perfect. That was like almost as good as you're gonna get with a six block. Yeah, but you, Never the, saw. you got too scared. Because yeah. what happened is you put too much gas in and then you freaked out and dumped the clutch. It's not that hard not to freak out. Here, I'm gonna put it in neutral. Take your foot off the clutch. Why? Because it's not good for the clutch to leave it in. Yeah, but you're not good for the clutch either. Uh, <laughs> I'm a lot better than you. <laughs> All right, come on, babe. You're really mean to me. No, I'm not. Yeah. You're doing... <laughs> <laughs> if you rode up too much, just take your foot off the gas, leave the clutch where it is, and then try again. One more, come mm -hmm, on. I'm done. No, Audrey, you're so close. I'm done. <laughs> just continue, all right? You're so close. Uh, right. No, nope. clutch in, clutch in, clutch in. Okay, stop. <laughs> clutch in, off the gas, stop. <laughs> stop, stop moving, break. <laughs> ah! All you had to do is not freak out and you would have been there. I can't not freak out. It's not hard. I, I know, I'm really sweaty. Stop. <laughs> Just drive the damn car. I can't do it. This is literally driving Audrey insane. <laughs> I can't do it. You're going off the edge. Just do it one more time and we're done. On the gas, on the gas, gas. Too fast on the clutch. 
All right, now rev it up a little bit. You're moving, so rev it up a little bit. Now slowly off the clutch. No, too fast, too fast. Okay, and now you've stopped. Audrey, it, you do the same thing over and over again. It's just, it's did such it a simple I fix. Good, I did it good once. Once? <laughs> you gotta do it again. You can do it. The 90% of this video is just gonna be a motivational speech to make you actually drive it. <laughs> can you put the one where I did really good at the end? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not editing this to make you seem better. There's you have to drive. That's how the world works. driving with extra steps. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's driving with extra fun, Audrey. Imagine, when you get good, you can just like bang through the gears. I was about to say, if you turn off the car, I turn off this relationship. <laughs> that would have been really good. Oh, I said it, so. All right, Audrey's done. Ah, that's so mean. No, I wasn't saying it in a mean way. Yeah, no, I wasn't. She did really well. She was just getting a little anxious, but it's fine. I mean, we'll just do it a different day. And we'll do it in the RX-7 where you don't have to worry about a six puck. She's dead. Lifted me out. I can't do autocross, dude. <laughs> that was pretty difficult doing uh, Manji's. Not, not, not ideal. The rally me out actually blew a relay for the um, daytime running lights, the rear, the rear daytime running lights, the, the dash lights, and all this stuff. So uh, I took it out of the the blue Miata Molly and I threw it in there. Now it works. That's the benefit of having lots of Miatas is that if one breaks, you can seal part off the other one and fix it. Although now this one's broken, but I'm not driving this one, so I'll go get a new relay. Kayla, okay. you have to tell me how to do it. How do I do it? Hey there, Gingy, I'm here. It's going to be it for today, guys. Um, thank you for watching me <laughs> drive the car. I had an okay time driving the Rally you Miata. Had a terrible time, don't lie. <laughs> It was okay. It was, it was a war, but I didn't stall. That was my goal. But thank you all for watching. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. It's really appreciated. Um, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Peace out.